Hey guys, I thought of doing a book review today. I finished quite a few books this past week. I decided I'd do a book, book review on them. Most of these books I got were from the library, but other ones I got from my friend that I were borrowing. The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I didn't actually read this, you know, all those years back, and I didn't know about the books before the movie came out. I thought, you know, let's read the books because, you know, Catching Fire movie is coming out. I probably won't understand if I don't read the books. Stop mocking Jay because obviously that's the last one in the series. And Catching Fire is definitely my favourite. As I said, I don't have all the books because my it was my friend's books and he has them. Like all the way through this book, because it's so the visuals are so amazing and it's just such good detail in this book. And I feel like if they don't get if they don't get the right settings in the movie, then it's just not gonna come out right. The whole trilogy I loved it all. A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket. All my friends were reading it when they were in primary school and I'm like, well, why haven't I read any yet? So I got this out and I thought it was brilliant. It was such a short read and it was such an easy read. I read it in like half an hour. I loved the movie, absolutely adored the movie and I'm definitely planning to read all the other 12 books. It's beautifully written, which is what I loved, and every time there was a phrase that came up from where they were from, they would always explain it. That's what I loved, and, and I just loved how Lemony Snicket writes, and I thought it was beautiful. I definitely suggest any anyone who hasn't read um, any Lemony Snicket books or any the series of Unfortunate Events books, I seriously suggest going and buying them and reading them. The Haunting of Tabitha Gray by Vanessa Curtis. I saw this at the library and all I saw was this. I'm like, hmm, it says a haunting. I like scary stuff, so I'll read it. Basically about a girl called Tabitha Gray, obviously, and she moves into a new, like, sort of mansion with her family. Everything's fine and dandy. Every time she goes into one of the you know, rooms in the house and she travels the house. She always sees weird things and she always feels weird things and she always like faints when she smells lavender. And she sees all these people that used to live there so she kind of reliving the past, I guess. I liked it. Not one of the best horror books though. Probably the best one I read. The Secret of Prickly Hole by James Herbert. This was a pain in the ass to read. It's got about 600 pages. I went into it completely intimidated by it. 250 pages in, I was sort of drawn to the story. I wanted to know what was going to happen. It took me a while to get into it, but you know, when I was into it, it was so good. This is basically a story of a family, Gabe, Eve, Callie and Lauren. So Gabe and Eve are the parents and Callie and Lauren are the daughters. They moved to Crickley Hall from their London home because their son Cam or Cameron went missing and his anniversary was soon because it was such a sad time to be around the house. They started to experience all these strange, strange things. I really like it, the story with the family and um, the, the present time. But when the book started explaining the past and why the house is haunted like that, I found that so much more real to read, like it was actually happening or it actually happened. Um, all these orphans were living there and it was the Second World War basically. Some parts were so strange and hard to comprehend what was happening. It was such a beautiful story and I really suggest reading James Herbert books. I actually looked up on Google who was a good horror writer and it came up James Herbert and so I'm like oh, I'll read one of his books and it was a beautiful story and I really suggest this to anyone if you're interested in horror books. Like, this didn't really scare me, because I'm not really scared by books, but this was such a beautiful story. Thanks for watching.